Mitch Transformers 96 here with another posing review. This time it was requested pretty much by two different people. It's like a, a you know, double uh, posing video. Um, the first request came from Transformers 337 and he requested an Iron Man vs. Iron Man pose. And then the next request came from Regimus Prime who requested a uh, Tony Stark vs. his armors because apparently in a um, comic series he did actually have to face his own armors because they uh, started to attack him. So that's what I went for here. And, uh, you know, I put them both together because of a uh, very similar request. And, yeah. So, thank you for the two of you for requesting uh, poses like this. And, um, so here you go. So, what I did was I went with the Mark I uh, because, obviously, there isn't a Tony Stark. I mean, they, there will be a Tony Stark that's made. Um, it comes in, like, a, a six-pack, I think, that's going to be exclusive somewhere. But that won't be out for a while. So, you know, I couldn't use the actual Tony Stark. I had to have an armor, uh, have him, like, in one armor. And I thought about it, and I'm like, well, why not just do the one, uh, the Mark I? Because it would make sense if his armor's got, like, taken over by uh, somebody else or something, or they gain consciousness, I have no idea, but if if they somehow revolted against him, that the Mark I would probably be the one that wouldn't, because it's very low technology, so it probably wouldn't be able to move on its own or anything, so that's why uh, Tony Stark would be forced to have to get into the Mark I to fight his armors, and I went through Marks 1 through 7 here, or 2 through 7 attacking the Mark I, um, because uh, I didn't want to go too crazy and have a whole bunch of crazy armor and I wanted to keep it very movie-ish and these are the movie armors that you know are the main movie armors so that's what I went with here um so in the actual pose you've got uh, the Mark 1 there he's kicking the Mark I believe it's the Mark 3 yeah it's the Mark 3 he's kicking the Mark 3 on the floor and he's pushing back the Mark 5 while he is uh, torching the Mark uh, 6 and yeah so as you can see I do have a flame blast here um, I, I made that for, uh, for Optimus Prime for one of my poses with Optimus Prime but I'm, I've been reusing it in a few poses and I'm really it's coming in great handy so, uh, so I used it uh, for this one and then in the background to the right you have the Mark II that's uh, that's walking towards him back to get in the fight and then in the back towards the middle you've got the Mark IV who's doing a repulsor blast about to get the Mark I from behind and then all the way to the left you've got the Mark VII that has been taken down already and it is uh, on fire it's got flames coming out of it uh, more pieces that I made for the Optimus Prime Bumblebee and uh, that's coming really nice very uh, very handy so yeah so I really like this. Obviously, if the Mark I was attacked by uh, 2 through 7 armors, I mean, uh, there would be no way he'd win, but I really like this idea. I've always thought it would be cool to see the Mark I take on large situations like uh, like versus Iron Monk or Whiplash or something. That's always been really cool to me. So I really liked um, uh, so I really liked this idea, so thank you for giving me the idea, and I had fun putting it together. So just to take it handheld. You got the Mark 7, or sorry, 6, in flames. The Mark 2 is coming over. You've got the Mark uh, 4 there, impulsor blast, getting ready to get him from behind. And then you've got the Mark 7 here, really like the Mark 7 like this. Just on fire on the ground. The reason I used the Mark 7 on fire on the ground was because um, I, I wasn't planning to use the Mark 7. But I, I set up this where he's, you know, fighting these three guys. And I wanted two people in the background to be either walking or coming towards the fight. And then I wanted a dead one. But I didn't have, you know, when I was only using Mark 1 through 6, I didn't, there wasn't enough characters to do that. So that's why I added the Mark 7. So that's why he's the dead one. Even though he's probably the best uh, equipped out of all of them. But yeah, then you've got the Mark 1 here, taking him down. Really like this. I use the Mark 5 here because the Mark 5 would be the one that's most likely to be held off just by his arm because it is probably the weakest out of all of them, excluding the Mark uh, 1. So yeah, so there you go. So that's my pose. Thanks for requesting it, and tell me what you thought of this one. And if you have a request, don't be shy. Let me know, and I'll get right to it. So there you go. Thank you for watching.